welcome back to another vlog as you can tell i have a bunch of junk in my trunk today today we are moving back into the rv tomorrow september 1st so we're going to be staying at a campsite a little bit closer to the land and then in a month we might want to move to another campsite that's available that's even closer to the land if you haven't really been following along we bought land here and oh shoot i gotta gas up why 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 i gotta do this to me we were like driving around yesterday just looking at all the different campsites to finalize which one we want to stay at and now we have like no fuel and i gotta gas up but i spent the whole day packing the car i'm like all over the place let me get back to what i was saying i was saying that we bought land here in south carolina and we're going to be building so we want to eventually put our rv on our land and live there while we build but you need water and septic there first which could take up to six months so meanwhile we want to stay at a campground that's closer to the land because where my sister lives she's closer to charlotte it's like almost a two-hour drive it's way too far so we're moving to a campground it's in north carolina it's a little bit close it's, it's much closer than this and then we're going to move to another one in a month that's like the plan so i spent the whole day i look like a hot mess express because i spent the whole day just basically packing the entire car all our clothes all our stuff i would say it's like about like 90 percent of our stuff it's a whole process and we're gonna be moving tomorrow so instead of just like taking it all in one shot i figured let me go there by myself without the kids without the husband and have time to organize and have like some peace of mind and be able to do this without like it's already crazy as it is moving I don't enjoy it. I love to organize, but I do not enjoy the process of moving at all and just organize everything in peace and quiet. And what is this? I like decided to pop a pimple and now I feel like it's like the only thing that I see on camera now that I mentioned it. I feel like now everybody else can as well. Well, I guess I have to head gas up first. Let me dig out my wallet and then let's get to moving. It's moving day. Hey guys, popping in here to kind of give an update. I brought everything in and I tried to organize as much as I could. It was kind of difficult because our bedroom slide, for some reason, the I was trying to push out the slide a little bit to give me some room to like organize stuff and be able to reach these drawers. But when the slide moves, the bed doesn't move with it like it's supposed to. And I called my husband, he thinks probably because the RV's not leveled, so stuff breaks when it's not level and you're trying to open slides when you're not supposed to be so we are gonna worry about that tomorrow <laughs> but i try to do as much as i could and even then there's just like so much to do so much to organize i gotta deep clean this because there's just it just needs a good vacuum and a good clean and clean the freezer and then we gotta go grocery shopping it's a process it is a whole process and i feel like this time is worse than when we were moving in from our house because i got to do that slowly Whereas now I took a lot more stuff because when we were first RVing, I didn't take like a lot of our shoes because I was like, what am I going to need all these heels and purses for? So when we went to PA, I took a lot of our shoes and formal clothes and things like that out of storage. And now I have to find room for it. So that's not fun. Um, but yeah, I'm done for the day. I think I'm going to leave. I've been here for like four hours at this point. And once we're at the campground and we can actually move the slides out, we'll be able to organize a lot better that way. Oh yeah. So far, I haven't vlogged much, but it's been a day, you guys. It has been a day. Hey guys, I am back home at my sister's house. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I wanted to show you guys something because I don't think I've introduced these guys yet. Say hi to Cookie. Say hi, guys. This is Cookie and then her sister, which we are keeping, Chai, little mischievous Chai playing in the toilet bowl. Chai and Cookies, Team Cookies, say hi. So this is Chai and Cookies. They're the cutest little sisters ever. We got a new cat and I'm so excited to take her into the RV. They're both sisters. Their mom is half British short hair, half uh, Scottish fold. My husband's cousin, it's their cat. She had kittens and these are the two only two that survived. But I'm so excited to have a kitten. This one's a little bit more like cautious and careful. And then try wherever she is. I already lost her. She's in the bathtub. Girl, what are you doing? I'm telling you. Do you want some water? Because I will gladly give you some water. This one's more like she just doesn't care. She will figure stuff out, go anywhere. And she has like the cutest little stripes. But they're so adorable. So adorable, my goodness. I'm gonna do my lashes. These are the espresso from Lilac Street. So I figured I'd sit down before we move out of here and put a fresh set, set on. Lash Links was so kind to send me a box of goodies. 
she sent their newest strip lashes, the ones that you can get in multiple sizes, the Lash Match. And the newest style is called Twill. So she sent me two of each in each size. There's 12, 14, right here, 16, and 18. I gave the other ones, the doubles, to my sister. So she sent me two of each, and I gave one of each to my sister. And then she also sent me some of their pre-maps. I love their pre-maps. They have the Dolly, which is a doll eyelash map. The Winx, which is a nice, voluminous um, cat eyelash map. And then the Extra. It's a little bit of a longer, more of a subtle cat eyelash map. Chai! I was going to keep her in here, but I feel like she's getting bored. Let me show you her one more time, because she's just the cutest little thing ever. Chai! <laughs> she's a little explorer. Look at you. She just doesn't even know where to look because there's so much to see. Isn't she just the cutest? Look at this girl. Look at this girl. Mwah. Okay, I'm gonna let her out because I feel like she's gonna get bored. Or maybe not. I'll open the door and see what she does. But my husband regrets not keeping both of them. At first he was like, two cats? No, it's gonna be too much. And after seeing them play with each other every single day, I'm like, how can you separate them? But it's too late. <laughs> My sister already told her girls, and it's basically their cat now, so can't separate, can't just take it away from them. You can't, like I teach my kids, you can't take something away once you give it to someone. <laughs> Not how life works. And the word chai means tea in Russian, so I thought it was like a very fitting name, like black tea chai. Flashlinks also sent all of the adhesives that they have, so if you did not know, their black and clear adhesives now come either in a micro mascara tip and it will say it right on the packaging or it will come with a brush which I think is awesome because sometimes I want this black glue in a brush sometimes I want it in a micro mascara one so I like that they have that option and I'm going to use their N6 because she sent me some N6 lash links ribbons as well which are super pretty she sent me sizes 10 12 14 and 16 so I'm going to go ahead and map these out because my battery's dying, I don't have a backup battery, and I'll show you guys on my silicone lash pad what I come up with. 16, 14, a 12, and a 10. I'll see if I need one more. Here are the lashes applied. Lighting is not the best in here right now. And now I'm gonna get the kids ready for bed. And I'm gonna, I've been watching, like binge watching, some Breed of the Teenage Wish. This is so random, but we didn't have cable growing up. We just had like, you know, the channels that you have like ABC, Fox, whatever. So I would always watch, I think it was channel 53. They had random shows and I would always watch all these shows growing up. So Brianna the Teenage Witch was one of them. So was Friends. Was it Fox? No, Friends was on Fox. So Brianna the Teenage Witch was on, it was called like WPNY or was that PBS Kids? I don't remember anymore, but that's completely irrelevant. So I would, <laughs> as a kid, I would just always watch the show. So now rewatching it, it's just so nostalgic. Even though it's, just, it's like so cheesy and corny now that I watch it back, but that's what I've been watching for like the past week because I found it on Amazon Prime and I was like, ooh, it just brings back so many memories. So I've just been binge watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's like super lighthearted. It's nothing um, like dark or weird, but I don't know. I just used to watch it always as a kid. So I'm just like binge watching it right now. Good morning. It's the next day. Made myself a pumpkin spice latte. I made my own syrup which I'll leave the recipe to down below. I get these bottles. I'm gonna leave this one for my sister because I bought a few more at the dollar store. And they are perfect for homemade syrups that you need to store in the fridge. And then these labels came with these guys here. So I just slapped this one on here. You can use any labels that you want. But I will leave the recipe down below because this pumpkin spice syrup is so good. It's pumpkin puree, some spices, water, sugar, like a simple syrup that you do on the stove top. And it's so authentic and so good. Highly recommend. I just added just a little bit in here just for some flavor because these beans are not the best. I'm not gonna lie. So I just wanted a little bit of flavor. And here usually I add cacao powder, but I packed everything away, packed all like all my stuff away. So I basically I have like nothing here. Did the laundry, so the laundry is done. Took our hamper situation. And then my husband went to the store. I asked him to buy cat litter, and then he's gonna try to find some brackets for that slide that won't slide out so the way that the bedroom slide works when you slide the slide out the bed is supposed to slide with it 
but the first time when I went in there, I pressed the button, the slide was sliding out, but the bed is not moving, and I'm like, what's going on? And then I went around to the back, and you could see that the bed frame disattached, disattached is not a real word, unattached, from the bed frame from the wall. They were not attached, like the screws were pulled out basically, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. I have a package coming in today, I have an H&M order coming in, and then a few things from Amazon that I ordered kind of last minute, but then I also have stuff coming over next week. I ordered some boots, fall boots, winter boots from Beachy. Those will come in in time, by the time we leave, I'll just pick them up like next week when my husband stops by, but yeah, we're just gonna pack everything up. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, and then we're leaving. That's crazy. Alright you guys, we made it with little Chai. She was meowing at first and then she ended up falling asleep. She's playing with like the this thing right here from the camera. Hey sweet girl. But yeah, we're here. So we're gonna stay here for about a month until another campground is ready that's even closer to the land. That's kind of the plan. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a month, basically in the mountains of North Carolina. So much to unpack though and organize. Oh my goodness. Isn't she the sweetest? She's the cutest kitten in the world. She's so precious. It is the next day. Had a good night's nice rest. I didn't really vlog much yesterday once we popped in here because I just spent the entire day trying to sort through everything. My husband fixed the slide and he screwed it in better. You'd be surprised how cheaply RVs are made. Even this one here, it's 2019, and it's a pretty decent model, but it's just made like so cheap. Like they have like four screws holding the bed frame to the wall and my husband reinforced it even better anyway we spent the whole day organizing let me kind of like show you guys a little bit of what I organized so all our clothes are in here this is my side that's my husband's side and then this is all his because I took up <laughs> this entire portion here which I'm still kind of like trying to figure out I hang our vacuum by the way um, I have like my purses there summer stuff I'm still gonna I always change stuff and like reorganize it and change it up. I got the laundry there, I keep the vacuum there. This is meant for laundry washer dryer hookup, but we need the extra storage, so we just use, there's a laundry on site, so that's awesome. Um, most campgrounds, a lot of campgrounds usually have laundry on site. Um, and then I got like a few organization things off Amazon, like this right here. So that's what I kind of spent the day doing, just literally putting everything back to its place. I still have to organize my lashes. I literally just dumped them in here. Oh, why is the toothpaste in here? Dump those in there and then I like organized all these drawers here. I still have to do the kitchen. I did the bathroom. I'm just, I'm just kind of going through and showing you guys a little brief, if you will, um, how our RV is set up. We have one bathroom. That's the primary bedroom for my husband and myself. It has two doors, a pocket door and this door, which both of them do lock. And then you have the main living area right here with the tall ceilings since the front of the RV is where the hitch is, so it's smaller. And there you have the garage portion with the two bunk beds that go up and down and that's where the kids play, sleep, and all that. And then we have like a little dining table here. So that's kind of like if you've never watched any of my videos. But yeah, I just spent the day organizing skincare, all my skincare, hair stuff, makeup, toothbrushes, just literally everything other than the only thing I haven't gotten to because, sorry for the light changes and everything, the only thing I haven't gotten to was this is my big box of shoes here and then I have a big bin we have of pantry stuff. So when we moved, put this RV in storage, we cleaned it out completely like we took everything out of the fridge because you don't want 
mice to find food or anything like that. The only thing we locked were like canned things. But like our pasta, everything my husband put in a big black bin and took it to my sister's house because we stayed with her for four months while the RV was in storage. So now I have to go through and put it all back. So I have to do that large bin and then my shoes. When we sold our home and went full time RV traveling, I was like, I'm not going to need, like where am I going to wear the heels or um, certain shoes like this. I'm like, I'm not going to wear these camping. They're really cute and I love them, but I just put a bunch of shoes in storage. And then I bought a few more from H&M, like these flats I thought were really cute. And then these loafers. So now I have to kind of find a place for all of my shoes. All my shoes I keep in the bottom of the closet here. So I'm just honestly going to try to squeeze in as much as I can in there. And we're just going to make it work because i got to get rid of this bin. And then the next thing I want to work on today is the pantry. That's kind of my goal. By the way, I got these cute loafer type things they're very similar to i think it's called the tasman from ugg and these are also suede with like sheepskin or wool whatever it is in interior basically the same makeup as ugg but for half the price this is from the brand bear paw i also have their short booties here which are similar to the short ones from ugg but again these are just way more affordable i think they were like under 60 dollars so i don't know why it's blurry and also they're like it's suede wool all of that. I also just realized I have these from Bear Paw also. They have ones I think without wool or whatever this is. Sheepskin. I keep saying wool. I, I have, honestly have no idea what the interior is but really good quality. I wore them all last fall while we were camping. This is also from Bear Paw. So if you really like Ugg, I would recommend they have kids ones as well. Look at Bear Paw. You can shop them on their website or on Amazon. They have really great, literally the same exact quality because I have Uggs and I love them and I love how warm they are and how long they last. These are equally as great in my opinion, but they're basically half the price. I am so tired and exhausted, but I figured out the shoe sh sh situation. The shoe situation. And then I redid the closets a little bit, so I made room for the clothes. In here, I organized the kitchen pantry items. Here's our little chai. <laughs> Living her best life. My husband's making ribs right now. So we're gonna have some ribs for dinner. There's that, and then I kind of briefly organized our pantry items, I labeled some things. I'm making do with what we have. Keep like the pasta, the hrechka, and buckwheat up here. Just gotta buy some pasta to fill those. And we are basically all set. My next step is, next couple of days I wanna organize our homeschool stuff. It's like chilling on this table here because we're going to be starting school on Tuesday. I feel like there's a lot more stuff this time around. Bye, Chai. But we live here full time now, so it's actually much later in the day. I think I'm going to finish this whole vlog series here of moving. Took a nice shower, just washed my hand, styled my hair, making some pumpkin spice syrup for my lattes and my coffee. I think I mentioned it in the beginning of this vlog, and I'll leave the recipe down below. I'm gonna let it cool down after and then put it in this bottle here and it's just so good for whether you're doing like a cold foam with heavy whipping cream you add a little bit to the heavy whipping cream whip it up um, to the bottom of your latte hot coffee whatever it's just so delicious in my opinion so I'll leave the recipe that I personally use I kind of tweaked it a one that I found online and I don't know I personally love it very simple ingredients and it's delicious I am loving these burr months, October, November, December, I feel like our September, October, November, December, I feel like I like my favorite, it's like my favorite time of year from, from September to December, I just, I love it, love it. Oh, my husband is hanging the lights, I don't know if you can see, the string lights, my friend Lisa gave that to us one time when we went camping, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out, moving in, slowly still moving in, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.